Hello everybody. Um, I'm back from a few days away and I wanted to kind of come out and explore the garden a little bit because it changes so much in just a few days. So um, today I'm out picking some of my chamomile and while I was doing it I figured I might as well shoot a video. So this is going to be a brief video just reviewing some tips and tricks for harvesting chamomile. Okay, so here we are in the herb garden and I prefer to pick all of my herbs and keep them in a basket. Um, that's really how I let them dry out now. I've tried the dehydrator um, once and for the amount of herbs that I have that can actually fit in the dehydrator versus the amount of time it takes um, pretty much all day for them to dehydrate, I just figure it's better to keep them in baskets and just let them dry out at their own rate. So this is one of the many baskets that I have um, for herbs. So here we are with my chamomile. Oh, he's so big. I love it. Um, I come out here on a daily basis now to uh, pick from my chamomile plant. He has a million buds all over him and they're all at different stages. So it really is a matter of just keeping up on a daily basis. So in my experience with harvesting chamomile, you want to look for the buds that um, the petals have started to drop underneath of um, the center of the flower. So for example, um, this guy here, he is a perfect example. So you can see how the petals are starting to fall backwards. This would be a good one to pick. A lot of times at this stage, um, the center of the flower has gotten significantly larger, so you'll get more of the flavor out of it. Um, an example of when not to pick, let's see if we can find one. This guy right here. So you can see how his petals go straight out and they aren't pointed down. He's not ready. So another thing I try to look for is the larger centers. So a lot of times you want to look and try and find, here's an example of one I already um, picked. So his, his petals have drooped down and he's got a much larger center. This is perfect for picking and using in teas. Alrighty, so I'll get to it. So that's, that's it. It's pretty easy to do. Um, one thing that I didn't mention uh, is I tend to clip uh, right below the flower. Um, I use my kitchen scissors when I'm cutting herbs, um, but one thing that you want to make sure you do is just wipe the scissors off with rubbing alcohol um, when you transfer from one plant to the other so that you're not in taking any infections or disease. Um, that the plant might have, the plant before may have. Other than that, kitchen scissors work just fine. Um, so that's a pretty good harvest for one day. These just keep on coming, and the more you pick them, the more they grow. So um, we're gonna have quite a lot of chamomile. I'm so excited. You can use chamomile just like this. Um, I could go make tea out of this right now. Um, you can just grind it up in a mortar, mortar and pestle or you can let them dry and then you can just add them to tea balls or tea bags and um, typically I use maybe about that much in just one cup so 
you can get quite a few cups out of this. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to sharing more with you soon.